Anna and today I continue to play along with Scrap Tumber where we have a prompt each day from Laura Alberts and the Scrappy Sisters. Today I am actually doing three days. Um, I think I've talked about uh, this before but uh, for anybody that's new I work the first part of the week and so if I haven't gotten my videos done the week before <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So um, I did have Mondays up but I did not have Tuesdays. So this is the 12th Tuesday of the 13th. So the, uh, the 12th was Nouveau dots, enamel dots, or sequins. So I've got my Nouveau here. Ooh, can you see those? Got it. I don't have a lot of them, but I do have like this white, a sparkly clear, red berry, and then black. And then I have a couple different sequin mixes. I won them, um, and this is Spiegel Mom Scraps, and it's Ocean of Color. And I, when I looked at the picture, and I'm sorry, you can't see most of the picture. It's got people in it that I don't have permission to show, but it's got all these fun colors. It was at a youth event with music, and so I went with the music theme. Um, I'm jumping ahead. <laughs> uh, uh, day 13 is sketch number two. It is by Laura Alberts, and um, I will have that up in the corner. So I've got it started here. And then day 14 is a cut file, and I went onto my Cricut, and uh, I did try to do something first. This, when you're trying to scope out Cricut images, you gotta find one with thicker lines, especially if you're gonna make it, well, I shouldn't say specially, but especially if like you make it bigger, smaller, if you adjust the size, because the it can just get thinner and thinner. This one had a nice thick border, and it's in it so that it cut very well. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna back these. I, I did at first have an inkling of not doing it, but I do think I'll back it. I'm not sure. Obviously, green with the leaves. And I'm not how sure the rest of that'll work. So I have to arrange my hexagons. I have two different hexagon punches, and I I got these second hand, but they line up. So with the smaller one, I did this paper. This is from Reminisce, and I believe it's from Tech Bubble. And then I have my lavender paper. I also had some red paper out and I thought about using it for my background and it's just too loud. But you see, this has got kind of a filter on it and I think I might use a uh, red or orange, red orange to back that paper. I'm not, or the picture, I'm not really sure. And then I do have a couple of flare here that happen to have these fun colors um, with the black. So I think I'm gonna incorporate that. And then I just have a whole bunch of stickers. Um, reminisce my husband and I like to go to um concerts and so I just have a lots of musical things so this is reminisce tech bubble here is musicality by reminisce um this is if you can see these best creation ink rock star it's by craft and craft <laughs> I gotta move it closer craft and crafton oof and this is, I think, a duplicate, so Musicality by Reminisce. So lots of good stickers. Um, and that's where I'm going. Let's get scrapping. I don't know about you guys, but with a couple of days off for scrap, it just, it slows me down. Like, I need a little bit time to get back into the motion. So here I am. I back the photo with some orange, kind of red orange paper. And the next thing I'm gonna do is um, glue the small hexagons to the large hexagons that I've already cut out. And this just takes me a moment. I, I, in case you don't know, I do love my ATG gun, the adhesive um, gun that I have and the adhesive. I get my adhesive from Tape Jungle I only order about once a year because you can get a box with a whole bunch in it. I don't know. I don't remember how many are in a box, but there's different. The more you buy, the the better your deal is. And so I do order about once a year. And they have they run sales as well. So um, let's see. And I, yeah, the so I use the, the glue I'm using, I'll be used for the cut flat file is the Tombow Mono uh, liquid glue. And I've been using that for a while. It was very inexpensive, but for 
doing a cut file, I kind of, I call them glue boogers. And you'll see, I think you'll see it with the cut file in a moment. But it seems to get on my fingers. The extra gets on my fingers and then it gets on the cut file. And then it just, even though the glue is clear, it looks like it has booger, uh, glue boogers on it. So, um, once I get these all uh, glued together, I will lay them out similar to what is on the sketch. And then I'm also paying attention to where those light bursts are. Um, Cause I, I know some of them are gonna get covered up and some of them are like so nicely placed right in the middle. So when I'm placing them, I am kind of trying to pay attention to having the ones that look the nicest where I will be able to see them on the page, if that makes sense. Um, so, cause with the cut file, I think some of them are, some of them are going to get covered up quite a bit. Now is probably a good time to say, make sure you check out the playlist below. Um, it is everyone that is playing along with, um, scrap timber. There are people playing along on Instagram with the hashtag, Scrap Timber, I believe it's Scrap Timber 2023. I'll have that linked below. Um, so you could check them out too. Also, feel free to let me know what your favorite glue is, especially if you're using them for cut files, because um, if there is a better glue, I would love to use it. Uh, so I'm putting, put gluing these all, these hexagons down, and I end up I had enough, but there, I wanted to add one more on the bottom that goes off the page. And so you will see me in just a moment cutting one more lavender, um, hexa, the bigger hexagon. And then I used um, one of the portions of the black paper with those, uh, I don't know, light bursts um, on the bottom. So um, you'll see me do that in a moment. This feels like it's taking a very long time. I even sped it up, but it did, uh, in real life, it didn't feel like it took this long. You very well will see me combine some more prompts uh, for the rest of Scrap Timber. I like using them. I don't want to miss any, but I I can't keep up the pace. Um, and I just feel like I'm falling behind, So, and I don't like that feeling. So I'm just going to do some catching up. Um, and you certainly, anybody can play along um, while, when they want to. You don't have to do every day. And then next month is 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And that is where uh, people have, pe people, <laughs> scrapbookers, <laughs> sketch people, um, members of the 30 Days of Sketches community make sketches exclusively for the, this 30 days and that's something where we pl I try to play along with every day so then I will uh yeah I'd like to get uh maybe ahead a little bit because I love these prompts and I love the sketches there I am piecing that little one together on the bottom and then I just trim off what's a left over um that's uh lays over the the paper so then I'm going to lay down my photo and get that glued down. I'm going to lay out the cut file. And here it is, I have a tab punch and I just use that on some of the paper to make that. I do, I wanted, I decided some blue because it goes with those sequins so well. So I've got that blue that matches the photo. I'm going to make that my flower. You're only going to see me back the one flower. Uh, the rest I'll do off camera. I do choose a different color of blue for the small the small um, flower and then I ended up finding some d three different greens for the three different uh, leaves that are on there and they all I believe have a blue tone so they all go very nice I was very pleased with the way this turns out um, sorry I'm going off a of cam camera with some of this but I, I like the glue for that it's not quick setting and that you can you know, move it around a little bit and, and trim underneath the pieces while it's, while the glue is setting, but you're going to see these, well, maybe you won't see the glue boogers though, because, uh, 
it's not close enough. So <laughs> maybe I shouldn't even have told you. So there the picture goes getting glued down. And you can see I have my flare um, nearby ready to go. Um, and here is the cut file. Ta -ta -da -da. And then beforehand, I was looking at using the arrow going down. And here I just put the arrow going up, which I think makes sense. Um, I just never really thought about it beforehand. So I used purple on the top and on the bottom. And that kind of matches the purple in that in that tag the tab up above. Here I come with some uh, stickers. I'm gonna take that uh, good times and use it for my title. And I kind of just place it down there lightly because I'm not certain how straight or wonky I want it. And then right away I go and based on that I make lines underneath it. Now this grid line um, ruler from Fiskars is nice because you can line up. The straight line on the left side and the right side and um, theoretically I should have very straight lines <laughs> you know uh, for what it's worth uh, if, it, if it's not straight it's user error so and that's just my Cricut pen I'm using to do that and there's a lot more lines on there I thought I'd just write a couple and let my daughter that that's in the picture there write a, write a, a few words there I know I want to put these LE Studio stickers, uh, they're kind of puffy stickers, up on top of the flare. Um, so I pulled those out and used the white. And then I used another sticker. Um, and actually, she's got a word sticker in there, so that went perfectly. And then I have this record that I layered with the top cluster. And then I wanted another kind of piece to go next to this cluster so I take the pian part of the piano um, border sticker. I mean it's like a 12 by 12 sticker but I thought when am I ever going to use that so I'd, I'd, I'd rather use it on multiple layouts and in multiple places so that worked out good and then I'm going to work on my third cluster on the right and I just I want to make that bigger I'm just not certain what I want and then I do grab the guitar and there were guitars at this concert at the um, at the youth ministry thing that we went to so I thought that went well and then I use uh, the flare along with that and then I'm going to remember that the other prompt that I'm using is flare uh, is flare is not flare it is sequins or nouveau drops um, or enamel drops, and I use the sequins, and I really thought about using the Nouveau drops too, but after I used the sequins, I totally forgot about the Nouveau drops, so that's okay too. So I think this went pretty well. And I've accomplished all three prompts, uh, the sketch, the cut file, and the sequins. So I did all three days. Um, and I'm just putting these kind of into clusters of three. And I, um, I have this, it's a very inexpensive little wax type uh, sequin picker upper putter downer and it works quite slick. So I'm using that to put down my sequins into the glue. And then I add some black splatters and that it is it. So thank you so much for sticking with me through the end. I so appreciate all my subscribers, especially the new ones that have come along. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.